The Meeting Place, Formby Beach by Simon Ingram. At a beach, any beach, you meet the ancient Earth's past. Here are the watermarks of eons where past meets present, one place meets another, and as you walk onto the sands, you can meet them all. And when you go home, you meet your own past. For me, home was not far away from here. As a child, I'd hear this place talked about, but being a child, I never saw what I was hearing was what made Formby Beach unique. I heard the details, the strangest differences. Here were red squirrels, not grey ones, pine woods near the beach. Purity close at hand to industry. At low tide, a shipwreck. On a clear day, mountain tops seen over sea. But to me, with the small-eyed, simple, questioned geography of a child, how far was it away? How different were the things in it? Formby was an extension of the familiar, not somewhere new. But as a child, all you really wanted was to feel the sand. Make castles from it, see the sea, feel it. And there's good in that. Good in just taking things as you find them, with the curiosity of instinct. It takes us back to an earlier age. In every sense, our younger selves as people and as species. Then you move away. You see other places far from home. My places were mountains, studying, climbing, writing about them. And then, as you get older, you covet the wonders closer by. You find a re-home amidst as much of this as you can. You might have children of your own, and the cycle starts again. And then you go home, and you see a place through world-widened eyes. And here again, not far away, was Formby Beach. Beautiful, but more now, somehow. This is a great confluence, a meeting of worlds. Stand here and feel the joining of other places, of people, of elements and of time. Where wind bent trees meet dune grass, dune grass meets sand, sand meets sea. Sea links land over water, over which old lands of different sorts look upon from all sides. Wales, Ireland, Cumberland and the old kingdom of man. Places whose beaches face the beaches that face them. Whether a mountain here the size of the ones over there in Snowdonia, you would see these places lying on the horizon's edge, like faces around a table. Here meets wood with sand, land with sea, sea with other lands. There is metal in the cranes of the docks over there, in the wreck ribs of the Ionic Star, in the sand giving it that colour. Natural attrition is here too, wind in the staring of the sands, in the slow spin of the tide turbines on the horizon. The offshore banks have names that speak of the climate, which is local and strange. Mad Wharf, Angry Brow, Great Burbo. A clear day and cold weather, and you can look upon the snow on the Lakeland mountain tops from the snow on this beach. And here on this beach, you join humans from another time. The roots of the first lifeboat station now, just foundations in the sand. And the traces of much more ancient feet, belonging to the people who found these sands in a time before Stonehenge. What an extraordinary thing to stand in their own step prints, along with those of deer, boar and crane. Imagine the scene they saw, thousands of years before the people they would become would imagine them in this place. Look at the view from a mountain summit and you feel the joining of elements around you on the horizon. You see it, but in sand you feel it. Its time is deeper. It joins everything and everyone with its story. With a story too ancient for us to understand. Walk down at low tide and feel the grains. Feel them grind between your fingers. Feel the way they run when dry and coerce when wet. Apt that they talk about the sands of time, sand being the most extraordinary joining place of all. First the volcanoes burst it, 
built mountains millions of years ago. Then water, time, wind, ocean brought the mountains back to earth. Broke them to sand, reduced it, moved it, layered it, built it into rock. Into mountains, built it, broke it into sand again. Joined it with more from elsewhere. An earth time of mineral, bone, shell, washed it into the sea, then up into the mountains again. Down into water, into the sea, down into the earth. Then into deep time, and then the cycle begins again. Rock, sand, rock, sand. The motion of time on earth like the tides, like breathing. In a time when we are gone, it will make mountains again. Look forward, look back, look around, and think of the tale of time joining you in your hands when you make your own mountains here on this beach.